We just discovered that BYD made an increase of nearly 400% in profit in the third quarter of this year. And Norbert, my friend, sent me a photo within the same five minutes of hearing that information of the BYD vehicles released at the European Paris Auto Show. And in the photos, I was thinking, hang on a minute, that's a BYD seal. That's BYD's new electric Tesla Model 3 competitor. I didn't know BYD were planning on selling those in Europe. In fact, they hadn't released that information. BYD had said they were going to sell the Han EV, the Addo 3 EV, and the Tang EV. Now, BYD actually got 100,000 orders from a German rental car company, which was crazy. But now it turns out they're selling a fourth electric car in Europe. Not only in Europe, in fact, it just went on sale in India, Cambodia, Mongolia, Nepal, a bunch of other countries. I can't even list them to so many. So this video is for you guys in Europe. This car will go on sale in Europe. I haven't got enough fingers. 11 different countries in 2023. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. By the way, I have a BYD Auto 3, or I'm about to have one anyway. And that is the car that you'll be able to buy in Europe very, very soon. But instead of there being three different electric cars from BYD available in Europe to buy, there'll now be four. So the BYD seal is, a lot of people think it's like a better version of the Tang. It's slightly smaller, but it's it uses BYD's new Salta Pack technology and it uses their new architecture. It's really like an evolved version of the Tang, but a bit smaller about the size of a Tesla Model 3. Now, we don't know the prices in Europe yet, but I do know the prices of the BYD seal in China. It's cheaper than a Model 3, not by a lot, by around about 5,000 US dollars. 32,000 US dollars is what it costs in China. So BYD are continuing to expand and work on, and not just dream about, like a lot of automakers are, but actually make it happen, make their global ambitions happen. They want to become a global name. And after recently announcing their entry into the European auto market with the sales of its three EVs, which I've just outlined, the Han, the Tang, and the Auto 3, BYD has announced the fourth car they're taking to Europe, the Seal. It'll be joining the lineup in 2023. We don't know exactly when, but the BYD Seal will be not only going to Europe, but coming here to Australia, going to New Zealand, Singapore, um, you guys in Canada and the US, don't think you'll be getting into BYDs anytime soon. Sorry, guys. But you never know, that could change. BYD does actually make vehicles in the US. It makes trucks, school buses, and big buses as well. Now, obviously, BYD has just released their sales numbers. Well, not just, but we heard their sales numbers for September. I published those on the channel here. They were crazy. BYD sales are just insane right now. They sold more than 200,000 electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles. I mean, not more than 95% of those were sold in China. Imagine their sales and delivery figures, what they're going to be when they become a truly global brand. They're saying they're going to deliver more than 3.2 million electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids next year. And I believe them. They actually don't talk about stuff. They just do it. Now, in addition, in August, BYD said they're going to enter the Japanese car market. And this is just the start. The Japanese car makers should be very, very concerned because they're losing market share majority of them are losing market share. I mean, look at Honda's sales in the US collapsing. Nissan, same thing. So they're going to lose Europe. They're going to lose the US. They're going to have Japan. They want to hold on to. But the thing is, they're not making many EVs. So what are they going to do when BYD enters the market with their very, very affordable and very good quality electric cars? Well, I don't know what they're going to do, but I know they're pretty scared right now. Now, BYD announced originally its ambition to sell three of its passenger EVs in Europe, including first deliveries to Germany and Sweden, which actually have already begun. BYD's initial entry overseas began with the Han, the Addo 3, and the Tang. And the Tang has actually been on sale in Norway now for, I think, about a year, where it's a very popular large electric SUV. There's very few options in the market right now to get an EV that size. Automotive News Europe says that BYD unveiled the seal at this year's Paris Auto Show, announcing that its newest electric sedan would enter markets in Europe sometime in 2023. 
Now, Electric says that BYD launched the SEAL in China and their intention was to take a shot at the Tesla Model 3 by undercutting the Tesla Model 3 on price. Now, to be fair, they are different vehicles. The, I'm not really sure that BYD's intention was to take a shot at Tesla. I mean, they want more sales for sure, but I'm not, uh, BYD isn't, the CEO isn't really like that. He is more of a growth mindset type person, not a person who just wants to attack Tesla. A bit like the CEO of NEO, he's a bit like that. But BYD's CEO, Wang Shanfu, he's not really like that at all. In fact, I made a video about him. He's a fascinating person. You should check that video out. I'll put a link in the description below. Now, the new SEAL uses BYD's new cell-to-body technology, basically like a Tesla, Tesla structural battery pack. This allows the battery to be integrated throughout the entire body, and this reduces the weight of the vehicle and makes it more structurally rigid as well. In addition, it's one of BYD's first EVs to use its new ePlatform 3.0, and the other EV that uses that, that you can buy, is the Addo 3. Now, the Han and the Tang don't use the new EV 3.0 platform. Now, during the auto show, BYD's head of sales for Europe shared the automaker is also considering bringing the Dolphin, the BYD EA1 hatchback into Europe. And you know what? That's a new vehicle that I've reviewed on this channel before. I'll put some links in the description below to that video that I made about the new BYD Dolphin, which is actually a spectacularly good car. It's going to go on sale here in Australia, in New Zealand, a bunch of other countries as well. I think within the next six months. So yeah, that's coming really soon. Coming to Europe as well. I don't know how BYD are going to make enough of them to supply all these markets. It's going to be a massive challenge for them, but I'm sure they're willing to take that challenge on considering the way they've been ramping their production. It's been absolutely through the roof. Now, the EA1 is actually a bit smaller than a Toyota Corolla. In fact, it's quite a bit smaller on the outside, but because of the way they've shaped the car with a really small bonnet at the front and because of the packaging, it's significantly bigger on the inside than the Toyota Corolla. It's a really, really impressive car. And I think it's going to sell incredibly well. In fact, I've predicted on this channel, if BYD can make enough of them, it will become the best-selling car in the world within the next couple of years. But we'll see how they go ramping production first. The BYD are already selling vehicles in Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands, Norway, and Sweden. Plus, they've recently begun to sell them in Germany, France, and they'll be selling them in the UK for you guys later this year. In addition, BYD will enter Italy and Spain in 2023. Here are the trims of the BYD SEAL. Standard range model, the most affordable one, which is 32,000 US dollars in China. That's before subsidies. Has a range of 550 kilometers on the CLTC cycle. That's 342 miles. It comes with a rear motor and the standard range premium has basically the same specs as that, just got a few extra luxury features. The long range version that has 700 kilometers of range, that's on the CLTC cycle, that's 435 miles. So you're probably looking at about a range of 600 kilometers in the real world. That vehicle costs 39,000 US dollars in China before subsidies. If you want the performance version, which is a little bit like the Model 3 performance, not quite as fast, but it's still a very fast vehicle and it's all wheel drive. It's the only all wheel drive model you can get. That one has 650 kilometers of range, 404 miles, and that one costs 43,000 US dollars in China. So based on that pricing, I reckon probably add around 5,000 US dollars to the price of each vehicle. And that's more than likely gonna be the price that you guys will pay in Europe, more than likely gonna be the price that we'll pay here in Australia as well. So I think it'll cost a little bit less than a Tesla Model 3, but not a lot less, probably five to 10% less than a Tesla Model 3, depending on the spec and the variant. So whatever market you're in, whether or not you're in Australia, Europe, New Zealand, Singapore, wherever else it is, that's how you can kind of approximately work out what the price will be in your local area. Now, the irony here is, right, that Tesla has started using BYD in the Model Y in Europe. So you'll be able to buy a few different vehicles in Europe using BYD's lithium ion phosphate blade battery. For those of you who are not in Europe and you want to buy Tesla vehicles or you want to compare them to a BYD, well, all Tesla standard range vehicles, Model Y and Model 3, use lithium ion phosphate batteries. Most of them are manufactured by CATL. Now, for those of you on the channel saying the Blade battery is so much better than CATL's batteries, it's not. They're both very, very good. In fact, they have advantages and disadvantages. And in fact, overall, I'd say they're very similar, very, very comparable. There's not really any significant difference between the two. 
That said, CHL's brand new M3P batteries might just change the game a little bit with much higher energy density than what we've seen before from lithium ion phosphate batteries. Let me know your thoughts on the BYD seal. Would you consider one? What do you think of it? Have a great day and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.